the number three interception of all time, Porter's pick six. Oh, my God. If there was ever a play that I think encapsulates Peyton Manning's career, it was Tracy Porter's interception against the Colts. Mannings are football royalty in New Orleans. Archie Manning led the lovable sad sacks in the 1970s. Archie Manning has been sacked, what, seven times? Even Gumbo has given up. After the 2009 season, the Saints earned a trip to Super Bowl 44. Saints fans, you're going to Miami. Many said the Saints didn't have a prayer against the favorite Colts. Saints are number one. We're going to show the whole nation tonight. We're number one because we got the best players in the whole world. New Orleans would have to deal with Peyton Manning, one of the all-time greats, and wide receiver Reggie Wayne, who was making catch after catch against Saints cornerback Tracy Porter. <laughs> Manning led the Colts to an early 17-13 advantage, but the Saints were leading by a slim margin in the fourth quarter. Second and goal from the two. Here's the throw to Shockey, and it's a touchdown. Manning would have a chance to lead a fourth quarter comeback. You know, I, I like to look at myself as a Peyton Manning truther, that I can see through the, the noise and kind of realize that Peyton Manning's a great quarterback. But when it comes to the playoffs, when it comes to the big moment, he's not always the guy who will come through. Third down, let's go. Third and five. With the game on the line, Manning looked for Reggie Wayne, who had been beating Tracy Porter all night. Tracy! Watch the shot! And here it was, Peyton Manning in his moment. This was a chance for him to go on the national stage, stare down Drew Brees and that Saints team, and say, you know what? I am the best quarterback to ever play. It's when Peyton's like, okay, a few minutes left, I'm just going to drive down and win the game. And he had a nice drive going. This is one where everyone thought Peyton Manning was going to beat Drew Brees in the Super Bowl. Peyton Manning's going to lead this last-minute drive against this. Oh, no, there it is. <laughs> Tracy Porter running down the field, and it's like, all right, I just won the damn Super Bowl, you know? And everyone's like, oh, because you knew the Super Bowl, they won the Super Bowl. Colts ran their favorite play. The timing was not there. And Tracy Porter, the quickest, fastest defensive back. I don't even think Peyton Manning expected him to be there. Like, he was just, he he cut the root off. Reggie Wayne's coming across, and it's, it's he, like he didn't see him. Well, I'll tell you, he played the play perfectly. Steps right on it, and then it reacts and goes underneath. Tracy Porter, like, why did I even doubt? Why did I think that there was going to be any other ending? If you were not a Colts fan, I think everybody was rooting for New Orleans. It was such a huge win for the city of New Orleans. I don't think that if I ever saw it in a movie that I wouldn't believe it. Three minutes to go. Look at the Saints sideline. You can imagine what it's like down in the French Quarter. New Orleans needed this. Like, they needed this Super Bowl win. And so when Tracy Porter grabbed that ball and ran it back for, like, 70 yards, whatever it was, I just remember being like, oh, this is good. The football gods are smiling on New Orleans right now. If, if I, I was happy about that. I love you. I love you, too. We won the Super Bowl. You won the Super Bowl. So did you. And me, too. Manning eventually cemented his legacy with a second Super Bowl title. But the Saints' first Lombardi trophy looms large in NFL history. The team's football woes and the city's recovery from the devastation of Hurricane Katrina made the moment that much sweeter. Think about what the city of New Orleans went through. He wasn't just playing with 53 guys on his back. He was playing with an entire city, an entire state on his back. And what he was able to do uh, to get that title for New Orleans. Ah, oh, man, it, it's just such a special time for New Orleans, that team, and Tracy Porter.
Tracy Porter's number one. I think it's probably like the most perfect sports moment. 